I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss one of the most important topic that is, what do we mean by circuit breaker? Also, I will be discussing about the term miniature circuit breaker. Let's pay the attention. Have you ever seen uh, this device? You might have seen in the home appliances and uh, the installation. Uh, like uh, as soon as you get in, into the house, you can see at the on right top of the like your wall, this kind of uh, like a switch gear you might have seen. This is actually called a circuit breaker. So uh, like what is the use of circuit breaker? Okay, it is a, like uh, it is mainly used for protecting the equipment against overloading or short circuit. So the purpose of circuit breaker. What do, what do you mean by circuit breaker? First of all, we'll understand. Later, we'll discuss about the purpose of circuit breaker. It is very simple. The circuit breaker, it is a switching device which is used to make or break the electrical circuit. It is the main purpose is to make or break. Moreover, the making and breaking will be done either manually or automatically. So ultimately, the purpose of circuit breaker is to protect the system over the damage. I mean, uh, you are going to isolate the healthy part from the faulty part. So what are the major abnormal conditions? Of course, abnormal conditions are overload or short circuit. At that time, the current goes to infinity. So if that is a dangerous condition, that may lead fire hazards. To overcome that, the circuit breaker act immediately, which will isolate the healthy part from the faulty part. Also, the rectification can be done manually or automatically. So this is what exactly the meaning of circuit breaker. So now let's move on to the detailed information about circuit breaker and what are the types of circuit breakers available. So one of the most popular type of circuit breaker is known as the miniature circuit breaker. The short form is MCB. So MCB comprises of two components. One is known as the fixed contact and another one is known as movable contact. So during the normal condition, the fixed and movable contact is connected to each other. Whenever fault is happen, the movable contact is separated from the fixed contact. So in between there is a bimetallic stiff and there is a solenoid as well that will help us to separate the movable part from the fixed part during unhealthy condition. In the sense during the short circuit and the overloaded conditions. How does it work? Yes, I am here to help you out. Let me directly take you to the diagram so that you can understand the concept very, very clearly. So all of you please pay the attention here for a while. So, we'll be talking about the operation of MCB. So, as you can see, the MCB comprises of two components. First one is called the movable contact M. The second one is known as the fixed contact F. Initially, fixed and moving contact is connected each other during the normal or healthy condition. So, as you can see, we have a, a magnetic element and there is a coil also. Correct. Or we can say like there is a steel with a core. We generally call it as a solenoid. Okay, solenoid. Solenoid. Simple like a pet metal piece. In that you are going to wound the coil. This arrangement is known as solenoid arrangement. Correct? Suppose uh, during the normal condition, uh, like uh, during the normal condition, the moving and fixer contact is actually connected to each other. And there is a trip bar also and there is a latch and uh, like uh, the solenoid element is directly connected to the load. It is very clear. So normal condition, fixed and moving contact is close to each other. During the abnormal condition, case B, this is case A is okay, normal condition, no problem. Things will happen as it is. There is no issue. During the uh, like uh, fall condition, the solenoid is getting activated. Therefore, the trip bar, the trip bar will come closer to the the magnetic element because it will attract there is a bimetallic stick that is going to be attracted because of that what will happen the contact the contact will be moving from uh, the fixed contact to moving contact you, you can see the separation that means uh, there is a isolation like this it is actually happening so during the normal condition what will happen the fixed and moving contact is connected to each other uh, during uh, like abnormal condition, the moving contact will be away from the fixed contact. The same thing will happen. Because of this, what is the final impact? Because of this, the moving contact is away from the fixed contact and the 
healthy portion will be isolated from the fixed uh, like uh, abnormal portion healthy portion will be completely isolated from the uh, unhealthy or faulty condition therefore the system is getting protected. This type of arrangement is known as mini HS circuit breaker. Also, MCB acts very fastly, approximately 2.5 milliseconds, and it will respond during uh, the temperature, temperature rises. Okay, that is also another peculiarity of MCB. So, these are the typical view of MCB. You can see the various company details also. It can be done either manually or automatically. What are the major duties of MCB? The major duties of MCB are to protect against overcurrent or short circuit, interrupts the like a flow of a flow during the fault condition, prevents overheating. That is a plus point because it will respond during overheating also. It will ensure the safety. These are the major functions of miniature circuit breaker. The major advantages are reliable in operation. Uh, it will like uh, easily bifurcate uh, faulty portion from the healthy portion. It is sensitive due to the fault condition. It will act very fastly. So. Current limiting ability is also another important parameters of a circuit breaker. Okay. So the major drawbacks are it is more ex expensive to install. Maintenance also will be very difficult. So some cases fuses can react slightly faster than circuit breaker. Some circumstances. These are the drawbacks of circuit breakers. So in this short video, I discussed about what do you mean by circuit breaker? And I have shown you the practical view of circuit breaker. How does it work? What do you mean by fixed contact? What is moving contact? How it is going to isolate the healthy portion from the faulty portion? So if you have any queries, you can use the comment box. I am very happy to answer. And even discussed about the functions of MCB, even pros and cons. I wish you all the very best for your examination. I request you to like this video, even uh, share the video with the students and uh, staff members. Also, I request you to give your valuable suggestion for the improvement. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you all.